No, I, I, I don't really have an intro for this one. Um, Bonds of Justice? Uh, I mean, I, I, I could eat a, eat a Lego. Man, that was a, was a good Lego. February 14th, 2.30 p.m. Everfree Forest. Entrance. What you got? <laughs> what? Hey. H hello. Yeah? Any clue why we're here? No, absolutely ah, no idea. One of the greatest mysteries of the universe. Why are... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, he's a... He's a... He's a... Psychological. I was almost going to say physical. Are we here? Um, that's not... I mean, are we a product of some cosmic coincidence? Or is there a being far greater than we the could eternal ever herd. imagine? Or maybe we're puppets controlled by the universe to fulfill a purpose we never knew existed. A uh, little show for a bored intergalactic uh, uh, being to entertain themselves and whoever is out there every single day. I because, feel like it's the eternal know, herd cinnamon, thing. But that keeps me up at night. <laughs> what? No, I mean, why are we out here guarding <laughs> the Everfree Forest? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, indeed. Uh, <laughs> what was with the whole puppet show thing? Uh, yes, yeah, Spade. You want to talk about it? We can call Dr. Dr. Wolf. Dr. Wolf. <laughs> Dr. Wolf, yes. My, no that, I love Dr. Wolf. Must have been my noggin acting fuzzy. Darn that unicorn in his levitation spell. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm surprised you couldn't handle a little cult levitating you. Hey. That kid lifting me up about five meters off the ground. Damn. You can't blame me for getting a bruise from that. Uh-huh. A bruise. bruise. You're lucky that chipmunk face of yours wasn't the one the that black guy. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, nothing. So, um, what was the question you asked me? Why are we here? I asked, why are we guarding the entrance to the Everfree Forest? Dude, this is entertaining. Right. right. The entrance to the crime scenes. <clears> hmm. <throat> According to the detective, we're supposed to prevent any party from entering the forest until he returns from Canterlot. Fair. That includes those human attorneys, right? That's yeah. That's right, including the princess. Right. I wonder why that princess. is. Princess? I honestly don't know. Oh my god, there's I mean, Lego she piece. is a princess, not to mention Princess Celestia's pupil. Why would he include her on the list? Wait, who are we talking about again? Maybe Princess Celestia doesn't want her to tamper with the crime scenes? Wait, are talking about Are Violet? you kidding? She and the yellow attorney are working Fina. together along with the old porcupine attorney. There's no Fix. way she intends to tamper with the scene. Plus, I'm sure Princess Twilight is smart enough not to do such a thing. Unless you suggest the princess of friendship is foolish enough to throw her- Cue to Twilight just running in the background, just going into the Status forest. Away. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. I was- I- <sighs> I was trying to wrap my head around this nut job of a case and why any pony could do such a thing. But every time I try to make sense of it, I get more questions than answers, and I hate it. Sorry, this is just an awful mess. Not just for us, but for the kids as well. The kids? Kudaloo and Turning Page, right? Yeah. Not just them. A filly named Sweetie Belle, too. Yeah, she kind of got it. And also that male pony, Sugar Stamp. Sugar Stamp? <sighs> to be honest, I'm just as confused as you are. I didn't think we'd get another murder case at all, especially after the TS5 incident. <laughs> yep. What in the world storm. is going on in Equestria these days? First, there's a stallion Ooh. in Manhattan who killed himself in front of an audience, and now two ponies were murdered in the Everfree Forest. And the fact that one of them was the clone of the other, who was one of our fellow members of the Royal Guard. This is cool, I world know, building. Right? I mean, we're thankful to have the princess, the humans, and the authorities to protect us. But the possibility a pony could be doing such a thing is terrifying. This is like an overarching Spade. villain. We are Spade. part of the authorities, and the oh, victim yeah. is a member of the royal guard. Forgot ah, about that. Right. Huh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. It's funny. Back when I was a cult. I used to read a lot of superhero, superhero comics. comics are overrated. They were always about these strong, courageous figures who could take on anything. In one issue, they'd be fighting some pony as simple as a common thief. And yeah. in another, 
They go up against some mad scientist bent on world domination. Dude, liter literally Kirby. Like one minute you're you're facing down cute little wild waddle deeds, and then the next moment, you know, you're fighting God in space. Like, I know that joke's been overplayed a lot, but it's true. And no matter the odds, the hero would always come out on top. They might get hurt, they might fall, but they never lost. I thought that's what he was all about. So when it became a guard's pony. I thought I'd be just like them, fighting all kinds of dangerous monsters to protect Equestria, never losing a battle, that sort of thing, you know? Is he gonna die? <laughs> He's not gonna but die. But I never thought that that the dangers I'll be protecting us from could actually come from inside our borders, and that they could really result in the death of a guard's pony. I mean, I knew our job was dangerous, but this is... Well, why did the text box move? Can we talk about something else, please? I don't want to think about our deaths on guard duty. I mean, you were the one who brought up the philosophical sure, question thing. Sterling. Sterling. So, about that filly, Sweetie Belle, do you think she's gonna be okay in there? Oh, absolutely not. I don't not. know, Speed. This case is a lot to take in, even more so for a filly like her. Though I can imagine that he's not making it easier for her. He? You know, Ashtray. Ashtray? The gray-coated guards pony with the sour expression. <laughs> Wait. Ashtray? For him? Seriously? What? He's an awful pony that deserves to have garbage dumped on him like Ash on an ashtray. Damn. <laughs> Is it his name? Don't say his real name. I'm gonna hear it. What? Oh, we're How not come? gonna know his real name. If word gets out to that guy, he'll report me to Princess Celestia, <laughs> who will fire me, then send me to the moon. Ah, uh, I uh, get it. Man, that's he. Besides, he doesn't deserve to be called by his real name when it doesn't fit him in the slightest. Aren't you hmm. being a little too mean to the guy? Too He's mean? definitely important to the story. Did you see how he story? treated the two fillies we arrested yesterday? Not to mention how he insulted one of oh, the wait. element bearers while the Princess of Friendship was there. Oh, yeah. wait a second. Yeah, I saw it. Then why are you defending him? I'm not defending any pony cinnamon. It's just... Look, what he did to those kids was awful. His behavior towards Miss Dash was also inexcusable. That much is clear. But with everything that's happened with this case, I sort of get Dude, it. Dude, I completely way. forgot who this guy I was. I don't follow. Think about it. We, as members of the Royal Guard, have a duty to protect all the ponies in Equestria. True. And to prove ourselves, we have to appear strong, capable, and reliable to every pony, no matter what. We can't shirk from our duty, or even appear to. Because the moment we do, then that sense of safety, which are sworn to protect, it's gone. Royal Ooh. Order's death isn't just a tragedy for all of us. It's also a harsh reminder that we're not Ooh. invincible. That we can fall. That we can fail. Ooh. I think that's enough to result Ooh, in one's that... questioning whether our strength is enough to prevent more casualties. And that will just lead to more panic and fear. And I guess the reason why he's acting so awful is because he doesn't want to come off as weak to any pony. Maybe he's afraid, since... If Royal Order could be killed, any of us could be. Then maybe he thinks Damn. that if ponies know he's afraid, or that he feels vulnerable, no pony will feel safe. So he throws all of his emotions aside, sticks to his duties, acts aloof, possibly in denial of the situation. All in an attempt to protect the safety of others. Wow. And when you think about it, it doesn't make Ashtray as bad of a pony, don't you think? I mean, I mean... I guess you yeah, got a Yeah, point. but he still sucks. In fact, <laughs> maybe I should try putting up walls, too. Whoa, 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 Don't whoa, be whoa. silly. Your walls are made out of glass. Yes, no, they're spade, not. Spade, Don't your, your lie. walls are You were paper. crying while reading the starving games yesterday. The starving It was an emotional <laughs> scene, okay? Hey, 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 hey. I feel you, man. I feel you. Give me, like, an emotional scene like an that is, like, really well performed by, you know, with the, like, writing and such. Heck, man, I'll cry. I've cried during the freaking ML... I've died during the... During MLPG4 so many freaking times. Like, hey, if it's good writing, it's okay to cry. For crying when little Lou died. And the lullaby at that? Still proves my point. But really, being like <clears throat> Ashtray isn't gonna help any pony. I mean, I get why you want to do it. But while putting up walls and acting all stoic and aloof may make some ponies feel safer, it'll end up making it seem like you don't care at all. And that's not something you want the ponies you're protecting to think, right? Yeah. yeah. 
But we have a duty to fulfill. Yeah! Do you want to fulfill that duty by acting cold and dismissive? Adventure! When you put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't, you know, try to be strong. You still yeah, have what, to. What That's part of our duty as members of the Royal Guard. What I'm trying to say is, don't be scared to be vulnerable when you need to be. Because like you said, we're not invincible. We shouldn't pretend to be if doing so means making ponies be almost afraid or upset with us. And we shouldn't lie just to make ponies feel better or safer. We should be the best guards we can be, even if that means accepting our vulnerability. You're right. Thanks, Cinnamon. You act more like a guard's pony than I do. Damn. <laughs> Don't put yourself down, Sterling. You're far more capable than you realize. I'm Damn. just doing what a good colleague should do. I love these really? two. Then maybe you should share this advice with him, too. Heck no. I'm keeping my mouth shut. I'd rather let him learn the hard way than tell him. That's fair. That's fair. <sighs> right. I guess I'm taking back what I said. Hey! <laughs> I was the one who was able to knock some sense into you. Then I'm not taking your advice if we're not going to share it with Ash Trey. You... Come on, Ew. Cinnamon. Maybe the guy will listen to you if you give it a try. After all, you want to be a good colleague, right? I'll give him my advice when fat pigs fly. Not pigs fly, but fat pigs. Ugh, fine. I'll try on my next shift. If he doesn't take it, I'm not speaking to him again. Got it? Sure. <laughs> Deal. Hey, isn't that one of the human attorneys? Ooh. Yeah. It's the red one from what I remember. Oh, Apollo. Do you think he's planning to go inside the Everfree Forest? Looks like it. Probably to continue the investigation. Should we stop him? No. You know what to do, Cinnamon. You don't have to tell me twice. Halt! Halt. Heh. <laughs> I love those two. Those two, is like, those two are awesome, man. I hope to see them in uh, Case 2-5. Oh, that would be that would be awesome. That would be pretty cool. Um, yeah. Um, I uh, started with not knowing what to do for an intro, and I am ending with not knowing how to have an outro. So you know what? I'm going to eat a Lego.